Well, I can't say welcome inside the pastor study because as you can see, I'm outside. So how about welcome to the pastor's backyard? Pastor Marty here from the Plain Congregational Church and what a beautiful summer evening it is here in Bowling Green. I just absolutely love this. The ministry I was with in Florida, the senior pastor there, Pastor Tom Porter, he would call this Chamber of Commerce weather. In other words, this is the weather that the Chamber of Commerce would tell all of the new people moving in or tourists thinking about coming there, this is the kind of weather we have every day. But this is just absolutely beautiful. I love it out here. I love to spend time out here in the evening after dinner. I, I love the pond and the wildlife that's around it, and I just, I just enjoy this. For me, it's a time to kind of, after a really busy day. What an incredible day we had yesterday at Plain Congregational Church. The, the altar call was literally the high point of the entire service. Many people came forward, many people got prayer, and I believe more than that, many people got that special touch that they needed from the Lord. And uh, I just absolutely, absolutely loved what the worship team did to lead into the altar call. Have thine own way, Lord, have thine own way. Thou art the potter, I am the clay. Great job by, by Dave and the worship team. Thank you so very much. And I'm just so thrilled at what God's doing here at Plain Church. Last week, or I should say the week before, we had an incredible uh, picnic right here in the backyard here at the parsonage and uh, I don't know we had just a record summer attendance and an incredible turnout for the picnic and uh, the Tebbies next door who have uh, Hope Ministries are also members of Plain Church uh, they do counseling and youth work using horses and uh, they opened up their horse farm to us and I guess about 20 or so of our kids uh, got to ride horses Sunday afternoon and just have a wonderful time of fun, food, and fellowship. And we had games here on the grounds and it was just a lot of fun, a lot of great time getting to know the Faith family and the Faith family getting to know the Bramers a little bit. Now, one of the things I like to do as I sit out here in this backyard is enjoy some refreshment and for me, Shameless plug for my favorite beverage, Coca-Cola. Now, before you send me an email or a text, you tell me all about the calories and the sugar, I just gotta tell you, there's something about, oh, that sound. I just love that sound. And, mm, that's good stuff right there. Um, you know, there are things in this world that God has given to us or allowed us to have or discover for our enjoyment, our refreshing, our blessing. And as much as it's okay to enjoy those things, ultimately, God wants to be our refreshment. God wants to be that refreshment that we need at the end of a busy day, the end of a hectic week, the end of a stressful time in our lives. God wants to be our he said in Psalms, be still and know that I am God. One of my favorite accounts of the Lord Jesus Christ having interaction with people in the New Testament has to be the woman at the well, that Samaritan woman that Jews wouldn't even talk to. But Jesus, the King of the Jews, he talked to her. And he said to her, she was drawing from the well. If you draw of that water, you will thirst again. But if you drink of the water that I shall give, you'll never thirst again. And you know, I believe that when we're saved, when we're in Christ, that salvation is eternal and it's forever. But once in a while, I need a fresh sip of that living water. And we call that worship, that time of coming into his presence, that time of being with him, letting him rejuvenate us and refresh us. So let me encourage you, even in the summertime, I know it's easy to get busy or stay busy. Oh, you may pause for a vacation, but have you thought about how much busyness goes into a vacation? How much work goes into packing up and heading out to where you're going, and then you're under all this pressure where you get there, well, we gotta do stuff, we're here now, we gotta do stuff, gotta go places, gotta do this, gotta see that, gotta experience this. And even vacation can become work, it can create stress. Let me encourage all of you, whether you're going out of town or staying in town, whether it's the end of a busy week, it's the beginning of a busy vacation, 
or you've just finished work and you're kicking back for the evening, take a few moments, hit that reset, refresh yourself in the Lord. It's a wonderful, wonderful way to wrap up the day. And it's okay to do something like this too. Mm. And if I may say so, that sure beats Pepsi. Sorry, Israel. I'm Pastor Marty from the Plain Congregational Church. We'd love to have you stop by and see what God's doing here. Next Saturday, our pianist, uh, Mikhail Johnson, will be doing a one-hour concert. It's called a hymn improvisation. He's a graduate student of music from BGSU, an accomplished concert pianist, but a great musician of hymns, contemporary Christian music, gospel music. He's going to do a one-hour concert Saturday, July the 22nd at 3 p.m. Free will offering. We'd love to have you come. I believe you'll enjoy it. You'll certainly enjoy the music. And then on Sunday, July the 23rd at 6 o'clock, it's movie night at Playing Congregation, and we'll be showing the movie Woodlawn. Guys, if you like football, you will love this movie. This is a great date film. This is a great couples film. This is a great singles film. This is a great family film. This is a great senior adult film. There's something for everybody with an incredible faith-based message. John Voight's in this movie. Uh, Sean uh, uh, Astin is in this movie. If you remember uh, the movie Rudy, uh, he plays the chaplain in this movie. You're going to love Woodlawn. That's this Sunday, 6 o'clock at Plain Congregation. Uh, free refreshments, free popcorn, and of course, free candy. I'll save you a seat.